but it seems that this guy is telling us that we need to collect all the parts of the weapon in order to assemble some kind of gun! Oh no, wait! Something weird is happening here! Oh my god, there were some eyes! Oh no, it's another pony! It wait! What is this weird creature? It's some kind of pink pony chef running after us with this shovel! To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe! Come on, I'm waiting! Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today! Hello everyone, friends! And you will be very surprised when you find out from what place we are going to escape today. Are you sure our subscribers will be really surprised by this? I think they were able to read the title of this video and even saw the preview. I think Jax doesn't quite understand that we're not actually streaming. We're recording videos! Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, guys. We're gonna try to escape the pony factory today. Factory... Ponies? Like, someone creates ponies here? I don't quite get it. Okay, let's see how it looks in practice. It looks like there are some more cutscenes here, but I don't think we're interested in them at all. Okay, we dropped this lamppost, and now I think we can run up this fence and without going down, get to where this green arrow is pointing to us. By the way, it seems to me that our viewers and I would be interested in watching these cutscenes. But it seems to me that there will be so many of them here that we will really have to spend a huge amount of time just watching them. I agree with you. I think we just need to try to beat this game. And by the way, it seems to me that Jax's desire to always be first everywhere simply won't let him spend a huge amount of time watching some scenes. By the way, it looks like we need to use this valve to open a passage for ourselves. Great. It looks like the pressure of the fire just removed this obstacle in front of us. Okay, now let's move on. Now we found ourselves in some rather strange location where we need to extend various bridges. I wouldn't say it looks like bridges. It looks more like pipes or something like that. Okay, we've pushed the green pipe out, but we need to get onto the yellow one somehow. It seems to me that there should be a lever somewhere to push it out. Definitely should be like the one from the green pipe. Great! We found that lever! It made sense to just see where that yellow wire went. Oh no! Jax, seriously! How did you manage to fall down? To be honest, I don't understand how it happened. It seems that there is some minimal delay before the jump. In any case, I think that this is not my last death in this game because I am playing it for the first time and all the tests that I see here are also new to me. But I actually really like it. We've never played games like this before, but I'm not surprised because I see ventilation here because I think it's already an integral part of games like this. Look, it looks like we've got a fan race coming up. Yeah, this challenge is pretty similar to the one from Barry's prison, but it's pretty short here and we got through it really fast. Okay, now we have to press the buttons that activate these platforms again. These tests are pretty easy. I'm waiting for us to finally get something really difficult because it seems to me that Jax has absolutely no problems with passing such tests. Okay, there's another platform ahead that will lead us straight to some kind of ventilation. Let's go to this ventilation as soon as possible. By the way, I really like that the developers indicate the route for the players with the help of glowing green sticks around. And by the way, we got to some location in which the pony guard broke out through this door in order to catch us. But it seems that this guy is telling us that we need to collect all the parts of the weapon in order to assemble some kind of gun! Parts of this gun are scattered all over this location and we will need to quickly head towards them now. By the way, this guy really irritates me because he panics a lot. It seems to me that in such a situation, it is better to trust the professionals and just wait until we finally assemble this gun. Okay, Jax. I see the first part of this gun. I think we need to go down and get it. Great. One of the parts is ready. I think there are only three of them and they are here. Okay. Let's look for them all in this location. I really want to quickly assemble this cannon in order to defeat this evil pony who walks below. It seems to me that he is very aggressive, and if we do not assemble this cannon, we simply will not be able to advance further in this game. I totally agree with you, although it doesn't happen often, but now you need to collect this gun to the end. Great! Now we have this gun. It seems that it shoots quite slowly, but it does significant damage to this boss, and now we need to defeat him so that we can go further. Wait, I think he stopped taking damage. It looks like we need to go down and fight him on equal terms. Okay, I think that's possible. By the way, we're doing quite a lot of damage. Great! We were finally able to defeat him, and now we shot at that wall in order to break it and go through it. Oh no, wait! Something weird is happening here! Oh my god, there were some eyes! Oh no, it's another pony! 
It looks like we'll have to shoot these aggressive ponies running towards us in this corridor. I really hope we can actually handle all of this. Okay, let's just shoot them no matter what. They actually look pretty scary because they have really scary faces with their tongues sticking out. But I think we'll be able to defeat them all because we only need one shot to kill them. Okay, we dealt with these ponies pretty quickly. Oh my god, there really are a lot of them here, but I think they won't even have time to run to us because we managed to kill them very quickly. Wait, seriously? That was the last one? Okay, we actually got through them really fast. I thought it would be a little more difficult. Now let's move on to where the white arrow is pointing. We've reached some new checkpoint. Okay, it looks like we're getting closer to the exit. This guy says we need to find a key. Oh my god! Wait! What is this weird creature? It's some kind of pink pony chef running after us with this shovel. Just look at how gigantic it is. I think we should try to avoid collisions with it. I don't think he actually has a shovel in his hand. It looks more like some kind of axe. Okay, it looks like we need to try to avoid him. And at the very moment he lands, we need to shoot him because when he runs after us, he is not vulnerable. It looks like the fight with this boss will be quite long because we only get a few shots on him. And then he gets a shield again, and it seems to me that this will make our task much more difficult. I actually thought that the boss fights in this game would be a little more fun, but I think that this will be one of the most boring fights, because here, we will just have to try to avoid him and attack him back. Seriously? In all this time, we've only done half the damage we need to? Okay, I agree with you. This is going to be one of the most boring boss fights in Roblox history. Don't be such a bore. In fact, we have been lacking such mechanics for a long time because all the other O-bosses were defeated by the same principle. But here, we need to put in a little more effort in order to still inflict fatal damage on him. I think we only have one more attack left because our weapon deals 150 damage and there are only a few shots left. Great! We finally got this task done, and now we have this key with which we can open the lock and go to the elevator. I wonder what awaits us next. I really hope that there will be nothing scary in this elevator. But I think that we will skip this cutscene again, because I don't want to watch long videos. Okay, it's good that we have the opportunity to skip these videos. Now let's start going through this test where we need to jump over lasers. And by the way, it looks a little more difficult because here we have to jump on these swinging platforms with an unpredictable trajectory. Oh my god! Why are there so many traps here? Who set them up here? I think there are too many of them. It looks like someone decided to take it very seriously to catch whoever is trying to open this door. But in fact, we managed to sneak past these traps, collect the key card, and open the door quite well. Why does this door take so long to open? Oh my god, we finally got here! What do we need to do now? Move around all these weird platforms and it looks like these capsules contain the embryos of those same evil ponies that attacked us. I really hope they don't get free from there. By the way, it's quite strange that we've already passed a really huge part of this game, but I still can't imagine when we'll get closer to its ending, because there were still no prerequisites for this game to get closer to the final boss. I think it should happen pretty soon. I don't think this game should be as long as any other. And by the way, we got to another checkpoint. Now we'll have to climb this spiral staircase and press the levers to make various platforms and pipes move out of the wall. I don't think this test can cause us many difficulties because this test seems to me to be extremely easy. Okay, now let's just go up. Now we need to press the last green lever so that the last pipe appears through which we will go into some very large tunnel. I wonder what awaits us when we pass through this tunnel. It looks like there is another room here. Okay, I guess. Here we will have to jump on these conveyor belts in order to go further. These conveyor belts with lasers look like a very easy test. But on these platforms, there is some strange green liquid, and I don't think it will be safe for us to step on it because it seems to me that in all games, green liquids are the most unsafe. Guys, I think that our walkthrough of this game has dragged on a bit because we've already gone through a huge number of different locations and the game just doesn't end. This is actually really cool, but unfortunately we can't fit such a long game into one video. Oh yeah, we've been playing this game for quite a while now. Well guys, I think in that case, we should ask our subscribers to like and subscribe to the channel so that we can record the second part of the walkthrough of this game if they really like this video. And now I think it's time to move on straight to the next game. As soon as we launch this game, we immediately become scared. We didn't even have time to start recording this video. 
And in this game, I will have to escape from these extremely creepy Sonics. I think I have never seen them so creepy. It looks like this happened to us solely because these guys are so creepy. Okay, it looks like we're about to meet the first one. And to do that, we need to take a wrench and open the ventilation. I really want to see what this first boss will really look like. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen such a creepy Sonic. Oh my god, his face is absolutely as creepy as it gets. And he has long creepy arms. I really don't want to go near him. That's why we need to run to the button as quickly as possible. It seems to me he is as fast as a real Sonic, and he really can't catch up with us. But we are already on the second floor. And by the way, Sony didn't even run up the stairs! He just stayed down! It seems he doesn't know how to use the stairs. In fact, we are very lucky here, and now we can escape from him through the room with toilets. This is very cool. By the way, it is quite strange that there was no roof in this location. Now we got to the room with toilets, and now we need to dig a tunnel. By the way, it's quite strange that the developers always leave the tunnel in the same toilet stall. We don't even open other toilet stalls anymore, we just go in here. Yes, I also think it would be great if the developers constantly hid this tunnel in different toilet stalls. And then this game would become even more interesting. Okay, now you need to get through this bridge further and go straight to the corridor with the rolling boulder. By the way, I really like the design of this game. It seems to me that the developers tried very hard here. They even made a fake platform because of which we fell into the water. Okay, we finally got to the corridor. Just look at this ball. It glows green and it is very bright. And I very rarely see that the developers make these balls so beautiful. But it looks like the developers really did a great job with this game. Okay, now we need to run to the next turn and wait for this ball to roll past us again. Finally, it happened! Well, okay, now we can go straight to the next boss. I really want to see what he will look like in this game. Let's go there and see. Okay, we've already reached this location. Oh no, just look, it's a completely different Sonic. She's pink and she's running right after us. Okay, she also looks extremely creepy, and we were able to easily avoid meeting her and head straight for the half-destroyed steps. We are going through this game, by the way, today quite quickly. We are already climbing these steps and only 160 seconds have passed. It looks like we will be able to cope with this game in record time today. By the way, this elevator looks really cool. It's all white and translucent. Now we need to go up on it straight to the energy drink run. And by the way, this location with energy drinks hasn't been changed at all. The developers just added blue walls here. I think there is nothing wrong with that because the developers really did a great job with all the other aspects of this game. Well. Now we need to get to the finish line as soon as possible. Because to be honest, I am already want to come to the final boss. I also really want to finish this game as soon as possible. And by the way, I am very annoyed by the constant pop-up notifications that we should add this game to favorites. They really do sometimes appear at the most inopportune moment. But it seems that the developers do this specifically so that people accidentally click the yes button and add this game to favorites. I think this is not a completely honest move. I totally agree with you. But it looks like the developers have no other choice to promote their game. Okay, now we've put the ladder right under the ventilation, and now we're heading straight to the bridge with the fan. By the way, this player in our friend's costume doesn't seem to know how to play this game at all, and that's why he fell. I think that the developers of this game really should add some innovations here because for now, it is completely similar to Barry's Prison Escape. Only here, the design of this game has been changed very cool. Now let's go up these pipes! Now we need to get to our least favorite test in this game, and I generally want to pass it as quickly as possible because it really irritates me, and it is extremely uninteresting to play. Yes, this test is really boring as can be, and I still keep hoping that one of the developers will actually change the location of these vents someday, but for now they remain the same. Okay, we have already completed this test, and now we need to go straight to the fan race. By the way, I really hope that the developers of this game did not increase the distance between platforms. Although it seems to me that on the contrary, it would be better if they increased it. But the main thing is that they did not decrease it. Well, actually, the distance between platforms here is quite big, and I think that the developers did everything right here. Okay, let's just finish this test and move on. By the way, it's funny that the platforms here are painted blue. It creates a very cute atmosphere. Okay, we finally got to the wind tunnel, and now we need to make a jump. Oh no! 
Unfortunately, we didn't have enough jumping power to fly to this ventilation. But we still managed to get there and now we're heading straight to the cafeteria. Just look! It's Knuckles, and he looks as creepy as can be! Oh my god! Their huge toothy mouths scare me so much, I really don't want them to touch us. Well, let's quickly grab this bazooka and start shooting at him! I want to defeat him as soon as possible, because I really don't want to see him. And by the way, our bazooka in this game is the fastest firing. By shooting, you killed him really fast, and we defeated him in a matter of seconds. Well, okay. That was really the coolest. Now let's go down this hill. Finally, we are at the other end of this abyss, and now we have only two tests left to go through before meeting the final boss. And these are the easiest tests in this game because they are passed as easily as possible. Now we need to climb this ladder, and we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers. I think we have never lost the laser challenge in this game because it is really the easiest. We already know the trajectory we need to fly. I think we even fly the same trajectory in every game without even realizing it. There's one last laser left that we need to fly past. Okay, we finally did it. Well, now let's head straight to the last test before meeting the final boss and pass it with the help of our life hack. In fact, I think it's worth stopping calling it a life hack because absolutely all players come for this test in this way. Okay, let's try to pass this test as quickly as possible and finally defeat the final boss. We are in a hurry! I really, really want to pass this test as quickly as possible. Okay, we've already reached the final boss. Wait, seriously? It's just a regular sonic robot that's just moving in our direction. Well, okay, I think we'll beat it as easily as possible because we have a really fast-firing cannon. Finally, we beat him and got our original appearance back. It's pretty weird that the last boss was a regular sonic. But nevertheless, thanks to him, we were able to become normal again. Now let's get straight into this Special Forces car and go straight to the next game. Stop being such a bore, Jax. This game is really liked by a lot of Roblox players and I hope our subscribers like it too. I think girls like it more than boys. And I think no boy would want to watch this video. And by the way, I don't really like playing this game either. Guys, let's just shut up and let's get ready for our outfit. We need to dress up a little nicer so we can look great at the fashion show. I think this tie is absolutely not suitable here. We need to find a way to take it off. And in general, I think we need to change our face a little. At the very least, we don't have one. Wow, Bubble. I didn't expect you to like this game so much. Well, okay. Then, let's really try to make a beautiful girl and dress her up. It's actually weird that we're making a girl. We could have made a boy and it would have been much easier to dress him. But it looks like the girls have beaten us and we'll have to do as they say. Boys, I think you should stop arguing and just continue dressing this girl up. I think we can make her as beautiful as possible. This hairstyle choice was quite strange, but it seems like this hairstyle is Jack Sue's favorite. Well, okay, I think this hairstyle can be paired with a perfect outfit. I actually still can't believe that we managed to get Jax to play games where we have to dress up girls. It really sounds and looks so funny, but it looks like he's starting to like the process. He really does it all with the utmost enthusiasm. Apparently we didn't know much about him, but in fact it's his choice and we can't blame him for it. And by the way, his outfit looks pretty weird. Guys, can you shut up? Actually, I just noticed that our fashion show actually has a theme and I feel like our look doesn't fit into that theme at all. Yes, I also think that we don't look like a witch at all. Rather, all the other players around us look more like a witch than we do. Okay, look like what we need to come up with in order to change our outfit. But it looks like we simply won't have enough time for this because there was a minute and a half before the fashionable ones started showing. Do you really think changing the colors will help us here? Oh, I think you accidentally put on two pairs of sneakers at the same time. Oh, great! It will be much better without them. Yes, I also think that we should remove them. It's good that we can do this through a special menu. Great. Now it seems to me that our model looks great. Okay, we have another minute, and I think that in this minute, we can find how we can still improve ourselves. Look! Looks like we can still do a manicure here. Okay, I think that's exactly what we should do now. I think we should do a bright red, flashy manicure so that it will be an accent in our outfit. Okay, the fashion show has already started and here comes the first model. It seems to me that she doesn't look like a witch at all. It's possible that in fact, she didn't even try to look like one. She just made herself a pretty outfit. And the next model looks very much like a witch. 
More precisely, it is a guy who dressed as a witch. But in fact, it seems to me that the Warlock guys did not have such hats. It was something else. Here's the next model. Just look at her. She is all green. I think she really looks like a witch the most. But I think she deserves only four stars, and that is a fair assessment. Wow, this outfit really does look like a witch. I think this is one of the best outfits here, and I think it deserves a five-star rating because they really put a lot of effort into it. And now it's our turn to go to the podium. Yes, of course. Compared to other players, we don't have the most beautiful outfit, but I think it still deserves attention. At least this is our first outfit, and we really like it. Guys, I am very far from this, and it seems to me that you made me play this game in vain, and it seems to me that we will generally take the last place here. And now we will find out who won! Oh no, unfortunately none of us would have won today, and I want to know what place we took. It looks like we're really far from the prize place. Wait, did we call the very last place here? Okay, it looks like Jax really is a disgusting fashion designer. And now the next stage is finally beginning. It looks like now we will have to choose a new costume. And the theme for the new fashion show is the Middle Ages. I think we should pick out a dress or something. Or maybe this time we can actually try dressing up a man. I think that would be a great opportunity. Do you really think so? Okay, let's try to make a handsome man out of this man. I think we should pick some great looks for him. But in reality, there aren't that many medieval clothes here. First, we need to choose the perfect face for him. But unfortunately, there aren't many face options to choose from. I think this one will be the best. The one with the moustache seemed the most disgusting to me. And now we need to choose a hairstyle for him. Oh my god, short hair definitely doesn't suit him. I think we'll choose the most standard hairstyle that's at the very beginning, and it seems to me that even the color of this hair suits him perfectly. Finally, we found the thing where we can change the color of our skin. Actually, this blue skin seemed the weirdest to me. But now we look great, and I think now we need to find some clothes for this guy. But so far, I only see women's clothes here. Okay, I think this is the only available clothes for a guy here. But unfortunately, it is absolutely not suitable for the theme of this fashion show. And I think we should still go back to another option. Let's replace our body with a girl's body again. Guys, this seems extremely strange to me. We spent a long time choosing the look for this guy, but now we're back to the most ordinary option. Okay, now let's make her face, her hair, and go dress her up in a medieval style. It seems to me that in the Middle Ages there was no makeup, but it seems that we have no other choice. We really have to choose her face, but we will choose a simpler hairstyle that will really suit the style of the Middle Ages. Yes, I think this hairstyle suits me perfectly. The only thing is, I think you can make a slightly different color because her hair has a slightly greenish tint. I think this hair needs to be made paler. And now we can move on. I think we definitely need some kind of skirt and dress. But unfortunately, all these costumes are paid. Okay, let's first put on this jacket that resembles medieval clothing. And I think we'll make it white so that it looks like linen clothing. Cool. Now I think we are missing some kind of skirt. But unfortunately, there is no skirt here that would be very long, and so we need to find something else. Maybe we should use some similar skirt or something like that. And we can also add some kind of pendant. I think this decoration will look really cool. But I think I should give it a lot of time because we only have a minute left before the fashion show starts. I think these shoes should suit our look perfectly. The only thing we need to do is to change the white color. Great. Now it looks just great. But actually, I'm a little confused by this weird skirt. Maybe we need to find something more discreet? We chose another skirt and now the fashion show begins. Well, I hope that this time we will manage to take some place besides the last one. And by the way, I like this outfit quite a lot. I would like to be able to make the same outfit too. It looks like this time Jax decided to give me high marks to no one because last time all the other players gave us very low marks and that's why we only got 10 stars. I think it's pretty logical that Jax decided to do exactly that. You're right, Jax! I don't think they deserve high marks, unlike us! It seems to me that we look really great! Although, in fact, the question of female beauty is extremely subjective, and I think that everyone will find beauty in it in their own way. And just look, she really decided to dress in all blue. She even dyed her skirt and bag along with her shoes blue. I think this is the stupidest combination of all because I think any clothes should match at least two colors. 
And I like this appearance a little more than all the previous ones. And I think it really looks pretty solid and I think it deserves high marks, but we won't give anyone high marks because last time our mark was lowered. Looks like it's time to find out what place we took. Unfortunately, we didn't take the prize place in this game, but I still hope that we didn't take the last place. Wait, seriously? Are we really here in ninth place? It seems like there is no point in us continuing to play this game anymore because no one wants to give us a high rating, and so I think it's time to move on to the next game right now. Oh, Prison Inside Out? We've played something like this before! Looks like we're in for some very exciting gameplay today. Now let's jump on these pool balls. I really like how this game starts. It feels like this is going to be our favorite game. Do you seriously think that this game has a chance to become our favorite? It seems to me that this is just another clone of escape from some prison. And screamers in the ventilation don't even scare me anymore. This game is actually pretty well made, and I like what's going on here. Now we need to take this shovel and dig a tunnel straight into the basement with the lasers. Do you really know this game that well? In fact, I don't even remember that there were lasers in this basement. Oh no, we died. I think we should be a little more careful in this game. In fact, these lasers always really annoyed me, and getting past them is really a very difficult task because they move along a strange trajectory. But I think on the third try, we will definitely be able to do it. Great, we did it again, and now we need to go further through the ventilation. These ventilations are starting to piss me off a little. We got to the stairs and now we need to go further. In fact, the developers slightly changed this prison. And by the way, just look, there are characters from the cartoon here. It looks like they are here as guards of this prison. We need to quickly escape from them so that we do not cross paths with them. I really hope that we will really succeed. Great, we were able to do it. Now, we need to move on. We found ourselves in a room with a trampoline. Now we need to use this trampoline to jump to the other part of the abyss. Great! We did it! Well, let's move on! And by the way, it's pretty funny that this emotion is walking around here in this strange green liquid. In fact, what scares me the most is that he has the ability to do this. Okay, and now we need to run further down this corridor, and it seems to me that we are doing quite well in this game today. Now we need to run past all these dogs. Actually, running past all these dogs is the easiest task because they take too long to react, and we managed to do it. And now we are in a room with trampolines. We need to jump on these trampolines to go further. By the way, I don't like these trampolines very much. It's as if maybe we jump on them very low, and because of this, it feels like they're not trampolines at all. Okay, we're back in the ventilation, and here one of the emotions tried to scare us again. She didn't manage to do it at all because we already know the location of all these screamers. But it looks like the developers decided to do it anyway, in order to try to scare those who will play this game for the first time. And now we need to jump over these purple things. Okay, we got to the next location and here we are again, met by this scary face that is looking right at us. It seems to me that this is a really scary face. And I was always scared by how it watches us, without taking its eyes off. Okay, we put the ladder right under the ventilation and we're able to climb up again. And now the next test awaits us, namely, the gym. By the way, some kind of green liquid was spilled here, and it was not difficult at all to run past it. We have already found ourselves right in the toilet, and here we need to find a wrench in one of these toilet stalls. Great! We got it! Now with the help of this wrench, we can destroy this wall. By the way, I have always been very surprised by the fact that with the help of this wrench, we can make an explosion. Well, now we've reached the location where we can place these bridges between platforms. By the way, we can use our old life hack where we'll just move the same bridge instead of taking a new one each time. Great! We managed to do it again. And now in this room, we need to avoid all these red lasers as much as possible. I remember this test! It really stressed me out sometimes, because these lasers move so unpredictably here. But this time we managed to overcome them all again, without any problems. Now we need to put a box so that we can jump on it and move on. This game is actually pretty easy. But even with that in mind, Jax managed to die a few times here. Well, maybe he just really wants to set a new record for the fastest time to complete this game. In fact, I'm dying only because this game has a fairly large number of bugs and shortcomings. If they weren't there, I would have passed all this with ease. Okay, now we are going through the most difficult tests in this game, and I can pass them on the first try. 
I'm surprised how you actually managed to do this because when I played this game, I had the hardest time getting through all these things. Okay, and now we're moving on. And now there's a room ahead of us with a lot of these weird trampolines. The creator of these trampolines is a real idiot. I think it would be much cooler if he made it so that with the help of these trampolines we can jump much higher. But unfortunately, because these trampolines are quite strange, we have to jump to the destination much longer. But now we got into this extremely strange car. Now we need to overcome this route. In fact, moving in this car always really annoyed me because it moves extremely strangely. And in general, it is very unusual for a car that it can actually jump. And I think that this diversified this gameplay a little... In fact, it seems to me that this test is really quite interesting in this game. If it were not here, this game would be much more difficult. Now that we have passed this entire route, we have to go to the location where we have to free prisoners so that they can help us escape. Oh, I remember this test. I really like it. Well, let's start freeing these prisoners. They really do look the weirdest. I've never seen these prisoners wear such funny rainbow striped suits. But now we need to free everyone so they can kill this guard and we can pick up the key she's keeping. Okay, we just need to free the last prisoner so he can fight her. I think it will be as easy as possible. Wait, why did this happen? So this prisoner got carried away and stayed standing there. We need to take this guard straight to him. In fact, such a bug happens quite rarely, but I think that now we will be able to take this guard to him. Great, we managed to do it and we finally got this wrench. Well, now you can head straight to the final test in this game, namely the fight with the final boss. I am very curious to know who the final boss will be in this game. I really can't guess who the final boss will be here, and we are about to see it now. Yeah, I really want to know who the final boss is in this game too. Okay, we finally got here. Wait, really? Is that Riley? Okay, looks like we're going to have to fight Riley with our bazooka now. By the way, there is some bug here again because our projectiles fly in a random trajectory. But I think that if we switch to the first person view, then we will be able to fight her perfectly. And by the way, it is really quite difficult to fight against this boss because she can kill us with this lollipop. We have a lot of damage left to do. I think it's absolutely not a problem for us. By the way, it's pretty funny that our cannon shoots different balls, but these balls explode with a very strange sound. Actually, I noticed that too. This is seriously the weirdest. Okay, we finally managed to beat Riley and now we're heading straight for the exit. Good job, Jax. You tried really hard. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello, friends. And today we decided to escape from Charlie's steak prison. Wait, is this the same idiotic steak that had a terrible mobile game made about it? Jesus, I hope prison is a little more fun with him. And in the very first location, I can already see the changes. I have never seen anyone make a prison cell at the very beginning without sleeping places. Look, here the developers even added some kind of spoon and refrigerators. It looks like this will be a really interesting prison. Look, there are platforms in the form of Charlie Steaks. Okay, this is a really strange decision to make platforms in their form, but it really looks very diverse and unusual. And now we'll go straight to the first boss steak. Look, here he is. We need to wait until he moves away from this button. Yes, he is really standing too close to her and we risk getting caught by him. But I think now is the best moment to run there. Oh no, he noticed us. Okay, we need to try to escape from him. I think we can do it with ease. We've already reached the stairs. Great. He's gotten quite a bit ahead of us. By the way, just look at these platforms. It looks like a giant french fry or something. I've never seen platforms like these before. This is a very strange choice. But in fact, french fries go very well with steak. At least I really like this combination. And now we are in the room with toilets, where there is only one toilet stall. And now we need to dig a tunnel and end up in a dungeon. Wow, we've seen a similar dungeon with whales and various cubes somewhere. This is a very strange sea theme and I don't understand how it relates to Charlie's steak. Maybe the developers just copied this location from some other game because they were too lazy to redo it. Well, okay, let's just quickly run past it and go straight to the corridor. By the way, just look at what's in this corridor. The developers decided to add bridges. Why did they decide to simplify this game? Now this is a really weird decision, but thanks to it, we will get through this game even faster. Wait, seriously? They also decided to remove this huge rolling boulder? My god, it seems to me that this game has become extremely easy because of these decisions of the developers. 
And now we're heading straight to the next boss, and that's gonna be Nightsteak Charlie. Just look at this guy. He's running around with some kind of torch in his hands. I think that's very unusual for a stake, don't you think? Okay, I think we should run around this location to escape from him. It was an absolutely easy task for us, and we did it. And now we need to climb up these half-ruined steps. Wait, what is this? Was that Pomni? It's me! But what are our models doing in prison about Steak Charlie? Wait, there's also Jax! This is really the weirdest! Okay, it looks like the developers of this game copied a huge number of locations from many other games. And the developers even added a gangle! Okay, this is really very strange. What is this strange round thing? It seems to me that the developers of this game added a lot of different models here, and it is absolutely unclear why they did it. And again, a figure from our amazing digital circus. Guys, I think that the developers of this game are extremely strange. Wait, what did they do with this challenge? Is this really a replacement for the old energy drink race? Do we just need to run in a straight line and that's it? Okay, it looks like the developers of this game really have become extremely lazy. Okay, thanks to this, we will also complete this game as quickly as possible. In fact, this is at least some variety in these monotonous tests. But it seems to me that it would be much better if the developers replaced other tests in this game. Yes! I can't disagree with you! It seems to me that this is not the test that the developers should replace. But now we take this ladder and go straight to the ventilation. By the way, just look! Here the developers have added our characters again! Wait! It seems we brought the ladder here in vain because we could have climbed up here without its help. Okay? What a pity we didn't know about it right away. Now we need to cross this giant bridge with a fan so as not to fall into the spikes. I can handle this task with ease. This task is the easiest in this game. Well, okay. And now the most boring tests in this game await us. And by the way, for some reason there are french fries here again. Apparently the developer of this game really likes them. Okay, let's go up it and head straight to our most hated test with the valves. OMG, why did the developers change our favorite challenges? but they left our least favorite challenges the same? This really annoys me. I really want someone to finally change this challenge or remove it from this game. It's good that this test is passed quite quickly. We have already scrolled all these valves and now we can safely go to the ventilation. And by the way, I am very interested to know how the developers changed the test where we need to run with fans because these are the top two coolest tasks in this game. And it seems to me that the developers of this game could also simplify it. We'll find out very soon. To do this, we need to jump into this ventilation and run through it. It seems to me that the developers will not change this test because they are simply too lazy. Okay, the developers of this game decided to add sharks here. But wait, they removed the distance between the platforms in some places, and now they are just trampolines. I don't quite understand why this was done, but it was done quite chaotically. Okay. It looks like they tried to diversify this test a little, but it still remains unclear to me why they decided to do it this way. It really doesn't make any sense, but now we've jumped into this wind tunnel and are heading straight to the next boss. I really want to see what he looks like. Look, that's Steak Charlie with a frying pan in his hand. Okay, we need to run past him and get to the bazooka. I really hope he doesn't throw food at us because if he slows us down, he could easily kill us with that frying pan. Oh no, he's running right behind us. Well, I think we can easily run to that bazooka and start shooting at him. It's really that easy. By the way, look, it looks like that idiot is stuck in the table. Okay, I think we can easily kill him thanks to this. But unfortunately, because of this, we won't be able to try to use the bug with which we can use the force of the explosion and fly up the hill. I think we shouldn't even try to use this bug because all the previous times we couldn't use it. Each time this blast wave pushed us in a completely different direction. Well, now we've beaten this stake and now we can go straight to the hill. We're actually getting through this game pretty quickly. Most likely this is happening precisely because the developers have made it much easier. I think we're getting through this game so fast because we've become really good at it. Okay, we're going down this hill now, and now we only have two more challenges left before we meet the final boss. I'm really curious to see what Charlie's steak will look like in a giant robot suit. I am also incredibly happy about this fact. In general, it seems to me that the developers of Barry's Prison Escape should make even more changes to their games because usually they are all similar to each other. 
but in this game there are really significant changes, even if they do not always benefit the gameplay in this game. And by the way, we have almost reached the very top. We just flew past the last laser and now we have a test ahead with bridges that we also have to pass quite quickly with the help of our life hack. It seems to me that our subscribers are already very tired of the fact that we constantly remind them that we know this life hack. It seems to me that this has been around for a long time and is not a life hack at all, but just a normal way to complete this game. Well, we have one last thing left to do. Move this bridge. Great, we've finally reached the final location. It's Charlie the stake in a giant robot suit. It looks pretty weird, but we're basically fighting a giant stake, so I think there's absolutely nothing to be surprised about. We already blew up one of his hands, and we only have to shoot the other one. By the way, this guy is pretty active, and he is heading towards us very quickly. But he has absolutely no chance of defeating us, and we did it again. We defeated another boss and are heading straight to the next game in this Special Forces car. I really like how this Special Forces car looks, and I think that the developers of the game should think a little about its design, and especially the interior, because it seems to me that it should be a little more comfortable. Well, now we go straight to the next game. Wow, this sounds extremely cruel. Let's see what methods there are to destroy the planet. Later, we can send a giant meteor. Oh no, you send a meteor to America and now America is not on the planet. Looks like we did it in vain. Bro, are you serious? We destroyed a whole country, and especially a country where Mr. Beast lives. Oh no, looks like we dropped a meteorite and now on Africa too. So after we destroyed all of America, all that makes you sad is the fact that Mr. Beast won't exist anymore? Okay, that even sounds stupid. I think we should stop dropping these meteorites. Look, this is a meteor shower function and now it is flying towards Africa and Asia. Oh my God, this looks so scary. I would absolutely not want this to happen in real life. I think we destroyed a huge part of Russia and now let's try to collide the moon with our planet. I think we absolutely don't care about the state of the planet, because I'm actually a neural network, and we live on a server. Although it seems that if our planet is destroyed, then the servers we are on will be destroyed too, and we will completely cease to exist. I think we are starting to think about some nonsense. By the way, we just launched a black hole towards the Earth, and it made a huge crater that destroyed almost our entire population. Just look! There are 155 million people left on the planet, but it seems to me that their lives will never change. Oh no. We launched some lightning, and now our planet practically doesn't exist at all. Okay, it looks like there are very few people left on the planet, but I don't really understand what continent they are on. I think we need to be more careful and try to restore this planet. But I really want to see all the possible tools that are here, so we are going to launch a huge missile strike now. Okay, it looks like we should launch it straight here because there might still be people here. But unfortunately, we missed. Okay, I think we should keep looking for inhabited continents. Do we really have a primary goal? To destroy all 8 billion people? Okay, I think there definitely should be some tool here that will help do it faster. In fact, I have already stopped orienting myself by continents, but it seems to me that we have just launched rockets into Greenland. And by the way, look, there are still people left in parts of South America. I think we should launch rockets there. It looks like we finally found that very populated place and are now on the planet. There are very few people left. Okay, this looks really extremely cruel. It looks like these people really have started the apocalypse. There are only 7 million people left, and I'm really scared to imagine how they actually survive on this planet. But now we've launched some kind of satellite. Oh no! It looks like this satellite has started launching a huge number of rockets at our Earth. I think we should understand that this really does look extremely implausible. Because if our planet really were deformed like this, then the complete lack of oxygen would lead to it simply ceasing to be so blue. It looks like these 7 million people are hiding really well because I can't quite imagine where they could be. But it's quite possible that they are in Australia and we launched a rocket there. Strange. This rocket explodes very weakly. Oh, it looks like I was wrong. In fact, this rocket explodes very strong. I think it destroyed about 10% of our planet. And by the way, somehow it destroyed another 2 million people. I honestly don't know where the other 5 million people are, so I'm just going to keep launching these powerful rockets into this land. 
And by the way, just look at this rocket. It looks like it's going to explode really hard, too. It looks like this rocket has some kind of reverse principle. After we launched it, it exploded additionally, collecting a huge amount of air around itself. Perhaps it is some kind of hydrogen bomb or something like that. But the scale of the damage from its explosion is truly amazing. I still can't figure out where the rest of the people are. We need to find them urgently. Oh wait, we destroyed the rest of the population of this planet and it looks like this planet is now completely uninhabited. But this is not even surprising because it is simply impossible to live on it. By the way, we just launched some pretty strange rocket and it actually restores the area of the Earth. Okay, it looks like there are rockets here that restore everything in the world and even the population. This is really extremely strange, but I like the fact that we can do this. I'm surprised that this game really has the maximum number of possible tools for damaging the Earth because there really are a lot of these tools here. It looks really strange. It seems that the creators of this game really didn't like the planet very much. And he didn't like it so much that he collected a gigantic number of opportunities to blow it up. And by the way, we have already restored almost one and a half billion of the Earth's population. It seems to me that at this rate, we will be able to restore this entire Earth completely. In fact, I really want to look at the other tools that are in this game, and I'm very interested in that same big rocket that is drawn here. By the way, we have restored almost 8 billion. More precisely, we have restored 6 billion and 800 million people. But it seems that this will not last long, because we are going to test the other tools in action. It looks like our Earth is in real trouble right now. Look! This is a giant drill that is drilling right through our planet. Okay, it looks like this is what really sounds the most illogical. Because if the core of our Earth was drilled by some alien thing, it seems to me that it would have already left its orbit. But as you can see, our planet continues to remain in the same place. Yes, this planet is really the weirdest. Well, Okay, it looks like we're going to make cheese out of this planet. Now let's use the huge number of lasers that are here and shoot at this Earth. There really are as many lasers as possible here. Wow, it looks like with this hail of lasers we can draw something on our planet. Okay, I think we should look at all the other lasers that are in this game. Wow, the second laser really did a lot of damage to our planet. By the way, look, I just drew a heart with this laser. Okay, it looks like this is really the funniest thing ever. By the way, we have really caused enormous damage to our planet, but there are still five billion people left on it. It looks like there really are as many people here as possible. Wow, Jax. Did you really just draw a smiley face on this planet? This smiley looks super cute. Wait. What is this laser? Wow, it really pierces our Earth, and with a few shots, these lasers got rid of the entire population of our planet. Our planet now really looks as much like some kind of Dutch cheese as possible. Okay, I think we can really try to leave nothing of this planet. By the way, it's really quite strange that it still hasn't fallen apart into a huge number of pieces, but continues to maintain the integrity of its spherical shape. I think it's extremely stupid to look for logic or physics in a game in which we destroy the entire planet. And by the way, now we used some very strange ball from which lasers come out, and this ball simply directs these lasers in a random direction. Interesting, do we have the ability to destroy the Earth completely in this game so that nothing remains on it? I think that would really be the most funny. But now we have reset this Earth, and I think we need to look at other objects and tools of destruction here. It looks like there is a huge separate section here that has a huge number of different UFOs. And it seems to me that we can try to see how UFOs will destroy our Earth. In fact, I wouldn't particularly like some UFO to fly to our planet. By the way, look, we launched a flying saucer. But it looks like this flying saucer was shot down by an air defense system near Moscow. It looks like the air defense systems are working as long as there are a huge number of populations and an army on Earth. Okay, I think we've really looked at quite a few possible tools today, and now it's time to move straight to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today finally came out the second part of Roblox Doors. And today we can finally play together as a foursome! Guys, I can't believe that we can finally play together as a foursome in some game! I'm actually surprised that this happened, but it looks like I'm gonna be really scared today. Why can't the four of us play some kinder game? Kane! Just shut up and keep looking for items! By the way, Jax, don't you think it's cheating that you bought a huge number of different items for coins? 
I personally don't think it's cheating because he had a huge amount of coins, and why wouldn't he spend them? Guys, I advise you to play closer to each other, because if you move away from each other, something can kill you. By the way, guys, maybe someone can explain to me why we continue playing on the first floor instead of going to the second part of this game? I don't quite understand it. It's very simple. In fact, in order to get through the next doors, you need to completely complete the first part. And as you know, we have never completed it to the end. So first, we need to go through everything. Wait, so you're saying that today we plan to go through the first 100 doors and then move on to the second part? But that's crazy. Okay, it looks like we really have no other choice. Jax, why did you take those booster pills now? You really just didn't want to give them to one of your teammates? That's a very impudent act. Okay, let's pretend we didn't notice, especially since I think Jax knows what he's doing since he's not playing this game for the first time, so I think all teammates should keep an eye on him. And by the way, we found a battery and now our flashlight is fully charged. Finally, Kane found the key and we can move forward. It seems to me that we have been looking for this key here for ages. Jax, can you just stop whining and turn on the flashlight? I can't see anything. How am I supposed to navigate this location in the dark? Guys, stop arguing. Otherwise, we'll lose coordination and lose. I think we need to stick together and stop scolding each other. Don't you think that the problem is only that Jax is constantly in a hurry to run ahead of us all and we have to catch up with him without even checking what is in the neighboring lockers? Guys, calm down and stop swearing. Jax found the key, and now you will go further with the help of this key. By the way, you have already passed 14 rooms, and it seems to me that this is quite good progress for a game of four. Especially for the first game of one of you. I'm not an expert in this game, but it seems to me that right now is the time to hide. Great! That was the first monster, and you managed to avoid it. That's really cool. It's good that all four of you survived, and now you need to move on. In the first ten rooms, you still couldn't find any source of light, so I think you should follow Jax and see where he goes. Jax is like a guiding light for you. This is really the most funny. Damn, I think... Oh no. God, I was really scared of this creature. Okay, now I think it's time to look for the key here. But since only Jax has a flashlight, I think he will be the person who finds this key. Don't you think that we've been looking for this key for too long? Oh my god, it's here again. I'm so annoyed by these monsters that cling to you in the dark. I think that these are the scariest monsters here. Yes, they really do appear very suddenly, so I think we need to continue searching for the key now so that we can finally get out of here. You found the key without even using any light source? That's really commendable. Looks like you're finally starting to learn how to play this game. Okay, I think we should go to door number 18. Wait, did you seriously go there? Damn, I thought you called a completely different number. Okay guys, sorry, it looks like I'll have a lot less HP now. But if you find something that will allow me to restore my HP, be sure to tell me about it. Guys, I think I'm a little lost. Are you sure you're going where you need to? By the way, guys, where are you right now? Oh my god, I'm starting to regret taking him to play with us. Okay, we're in room 22 now and we're heading to room 23. I think you should hurry up. Great, Jax found the next key. Guys, I think we all need to run straight to the door. I think you're going a little the wrong way. This is already the 25th room. We're almost a quarter of the way through this game. Okay, let's all get together now and move on. Guys, I think you should run after Jax. I think we understand this even without your advice. Okay guys, I think now is the time to hide in one of the closets because now the monster will run after us. I can already see that he burst all the light bulbs in this room. Okay, I think he's close. It's time to get into the closet. Great! He ran past us and I wasn't even scared. It looks like this monster is absolutely not scary. Okay guys, I'm so glad you're all still alive. I hope you can actually get to the end of this game today. Oh my god! It looks like this is the room where we'll have to go down to the basement! Okay, I really hope no one scares us here. I think you're worrying too much, but it's pretty weird that you're worrying even more than Cain. Jax, are you up to your old tricks again? Maybe you should have shared with one of your teammates? Okay, I won't get involved in these matters. Keep playing. I think this is the best decision you could have made. Okay, now we need to find the key. More precisely, we need to find not the key, but the lever. I think that naturally I should go down to this basement because none of you bothered to find any source of light! It's great that you understand this because I would be extremely scared to go down into that dark basement. Wait, is there light in that basement? Okay, I think I could go down there with you too. 
Guys, please stay up there. Jax and I already found that lever and pulled it. Now we're going back. We need to continue exploring this game together, and I don't think you should take any risks. Now, guys, you should be extremely careful because eyes have already started appearing on these walls. This means that we are as close as possible to the next boss, and it seems extremely strange that this boss appears so late. Usually, he appears somewhere in the 20s of rooms, but now he appears closer to 35. Okay, we finally reached this room, and now we have to run very fast. Guys, I believe in you. The four of us can definitely get to the end of this game. I really hope that Kane won't get confused with the buttons and he will really be able to get to the finish line. But it seems to me that Jax is the one who gets confused with the buttons the most. Although he is actually very lucky because he has speed up pills. And by the way, it seems to me that the animation of the cabinets falling has now become a little more delayed. You're not imagining it. It's really like that. And it seems to me that no one else runs with Jax because the other players seem to be confused by the textures. Oh my god, guys, are you serious? I thought you could get past the first boss. Okay, looks like Jax. Now I have to play this game alone and it's really the saddest thing ever. By the way, we are pretty close to room number 50. This means that we will see the next boss very soon. And by the way, Jax got lucky again. He found another pill with acceleration. But I think it would have been much cooler if he had found batteries. Oh my god! It's that screaming thing again! It annoys me to the max! Well, okay. It's good that Jax has already reached room number 48. And it seems to me that he is quite capable of completing this game today and getting to the second part. And by the way, it's really cool that he just found the batteries. Wait, what's that? Is that an alarm clock? Okay, I've never seen one of those before, but we turned it on for some reason. And now we're... Um... Ticking? Okay, that's seriously the weirdest thing ever. And by the way, I still can't believe you all lost on the first boss. Did you really decide to leave me alone in the room with the second boss here? I think you should shut up and keep trying to beat this game. You finally got to the second boss, and I think you can beat this boss on your own today. I think she's really upset about the fact that she lost today. Okay, well, I guess we need to keep watching Jax. Maybe he'll even be able to beat this game and get to the second part today. Lord, I think I will never play this game with you again in my life because I just ran after Kane, and for some reason he kept crashing into textures and choosing the wrong paths. Because of this, I lost today. Someday I will complete this game on my own without your help. I think you are too upset about your loss in this game today, but I think you shouldn't despair so much because if Jax manages to pass the first part, then we can start playing the second part all together. And I hope that it really happens that way. And now, let's just watch Jax search for books. Okay, Jax found a lot of symbols, but unfortunately only two suit us. Well, I think we should look for the rest of the books on the second floor. But it is really very dangerous because this monster often walks here. I am very much scared that this monster is walking very close to us. And by the way, there is another book here, and this book has a star symbol. Excellent! This is one of the symbols that we were missing, and now we only have to find a symbol in the form of a cross and a pentagon. Jax, try to be as careful as possible. You only have two books left to find here, and I really hope you can do it. I really want to see how we get to part two today. I really hope so, too. Try to stay as far away from him as possible and listen to all the sounds with books. It seems to me that this book should be somewhere as close as possible. Oh my god, no, Jax, get away from there. He's coming straight for you. Oh my god, seriously? We really lost here? Okay, guys, unfortunately, we couldn't complete this game today, but I think that next time we'll definitely play the second part. We'll try to complete the first part off screen, and next time we'll definitely start playing with the second part. Now, let's move on to the next game. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play a very unusual game. Wait, wait! Don't tell me the name! I think I know what game this is. I've seen a ton of videos about this game on YouTube. It's about a little guy in yellow. Yes, this is indeed the same game, and in this game, we will have to become a nanny for one very creepy baby. It looks like we need to go to apartment number 10 now. But there are a huge number of other doors here that unfortunately for some reason don't open. And here is apartment number 10. But the door to this room is closed. We need to find the key somewhere, and it seems to me that it should be somewhere under the flower pot. Cool! We finally have the key, and we can use this key to get into the apartment! Look! 
and here is that little guy in yellow. Okay, it looks like this game is not as simple as it might seem at first glance. I know absolutely nothing about this game, but I think this baby looks pretty cute. Jax, I think you shouldn't shake him so hard because I think he might throw up. Actually, you need to shake him as hard as you can because this child is the spawn of the devil. Let's flush him down the toilet. Are you crazy? This is a child. How can you talk about him like that? Let's get him out of there quickly, otherwise I'll get really angry. I don't think they'll listen to you. And by the way, I've also heard about this game and it seems to me that they're doing everything right because this little guy isn't as simple as he might seem. Just look at his extremely creepy eyes that look straight into your soul. Do you really feel sorry for this baby? I think he'd better clean himself up and that's why he should be locked in this washing machine. I don't think he likes it here, although he looks quite happy. Wait, is he seriously going to spin in this washing machine? It seems to me that all the girls who are looking at this now are in complete horror. But they really have no idea that this baby is really a devil. Okay, it looks like he's finished washing and now I think he'll sleep very, very well. His eyes are rolling around as much as possible. It's funny, but it looks like he really enjoyed it. Okay. Now let's put him to bed and read him a story. I hope he falls asleep.